हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई सी ई अकेडमी बेनिफैक्टर इन दिस क्लास विल बी सीइंग द डेरिवेशन ऑफ आर आई एफ दैट इज इनपुट रेसिस्टेंस ऑफ वोल्टेज एंड फीडबैक एम्पलीफायर द टॉपिक इज वोल्टेज एंड फीडबैक एम्पलीफायर दिस टॉपिक इज फ्रॉम द यूनिट फीडबैक एम्पलीफायर द सब्जेक्ट नेम इज ई सी ए to derive rif we need to first draw the block diagram of voltage and feedback amplifier after drawing the block diagram we need to know the equivalent circuit of the basic amplifier and then we have to draw the voltage and feedback amplifier equivalent circuit so how to draw the block diagram we have to understand it based on the name we can draw the basic amplifier and the block diagram voltage shunt voltage is the first word the first word tells about the output at the output side we do sampling voltage sampling is done if voltage sampling is done the connections at the output is shunt connections the parameter sampled is v not okay voltage voltage is at output so we have written v not voltage sampling shunt connections the second word is shunt the second word tells about the input at the input side we do mixing input side of the amplifier mixing output side sampling input side mixing if shunt mixing is done the parameter mixed is i i current we have to place a current source at the input side okay shunt input mixing so what are the connections at the input side shunt connections at the output side what are the connections shunt so at output and input both are shunt connections the feedback network is to be connected shunt that is in parallel to the basic amplifier now at the output side we got the parameter voltage v not at the input side due to shunt mixing we need to place a current source if you find the ratio of output by input what is the ratio of output by input it is known as gain so output is v not input is i i the ratio of v not by i i is known as rm trans resistance okay so the rm is known as trans resistance so based on this name voltage shunt requires a trans resistance amplifier so we have taken a trans resistance amplifier of gain rm okay at the output side we have connected a load at this is a feedback network trans resistance amplifier of gain rm a feedback network of feedback ratio beta at the output side we do sampling this is sampling what type of sampling is done voltage sampling if voltage sampling is there what are the connections shunt connections the feedback network is connected in shunt so we have to darken this point if we don't darken it simply connect like this so what happens this line is connected either to this point or that is not clear so we need to darken to indicate that this line is connected here and this line is connected over here so at the output side we do sampling and the connections are shunt for voltage sampling at the input side we do mixing what type of connections are there at the input shunt mixing if there is a shunt mixing current is mixed this is shunt mixing output side sampling voltage sampling and shunt mixing if shunt mixing is done what is the source to place current source i s so this current source is placed and the current i i is going into the trans resistance amplifier and a feedback current so at the input side we can see three currents i s i i and i f at the output side we are having the load resistor r l and output voltage v not and um, okay so what is now the next step the next step is to draw the basic 
amplifier equivalent circuit which we have understood in our previous class how to draw it. For the reference I have once again drawn it here. So, we are having a current source I s. The current will have its internal resistance R s. When there is a current source the resistance comes in parallel. So, I s current source is having R s resistor internal resistance R s. And at the input side we have connected a resistor R i which is have, have flow in the current flowing through this is I i. And at the output side we are having a voltage source R m R m into I i. And there is a voltage source so we need to place a resistor in series. Current will have parallel resistor and voltage will have a series resistor R m I i R naught. Uh, output side we need to connect a load resistor R L and this is V naught. So, this is a basic amplifier of the trans resistance amplifier. Now, we need to change this diagram equivalent circuit for voltage and feedback amplifier. So, how this trans resistance amplifier can become a voltage and feedback amplifier by connecting a feedback network. By what is the function or role of this feedback network? It is injecting a feedback current to the input side. What is the direction of I f? It is coming down. So, in this diagram, this is trans resistance amplifier and this is voltage and feedback amplifier. The difference between these two is we have placed a current source I f at the input side. Why this in I f a came? because we are having a feedback network and its role is to mix a current I f to the input circuit. Okay? And we have eliminated the resistance R s here because it is a source resistance it is negligibly small. So, we have neglected it and removed this R s. Okay? So, the these two diagrams are same I s, I f, R i, the current I i is flowing R m I i, the voltage source na R m V i and resistor R naught R l. At the output side there is no change, only in the input side a current source I f is placed. Now, we are deriving R i f. What is R i f? Input resistance with feedback. This is input resistance of the voltage and feedback amplifier. What is definition? Ohm's law is V is equal to I R. So, what is resistance R is equal to V by I. What is R I here now? R I is equal to V I by I I. If you look from here, what is the total internal resistance? Total input resistance with feedback. So, it will be total input voltage is how much? V I. What is the total input current? I S. So, V I by I S becomes R I F. V i by i s. Okay? V i by i s becomes r i f. So, what is the um, equation of r i? V i by i i. r i f is equal to V i by i s. Okay? Now, let us uh, write the KCL at the input. Let us write the KCL at the input node. Current entering is equal to current leaving. So, there are three currents I s, I f and I i. I f, I i are leaving, I s is entering. So, we can write I s is equal to I i plus I f. I f is a feedback current. It will take part of output voltage. So, it will come as beta times of V naught. And what is V naught? This voltages of parallel path same. So, V naught will be equal to R m into I i. So, V naught is written as R m into I i. So, let us, uh, let us substitute this I f in this equation. I s is equal to I i plus I f. What is I f? Beta times of V naught. And what is B V naught? R m into I i. So, take I i common. It will come as beta times of R m. Okay? And what is I f? What is R i f definition? R i f is equal to V i by I s. So, we got 
V i by i s, i s equation we are having it here that is i i by i i times of 1 plus beta r n. Okay, what is this ratio V i by i i? V i by i i is known as r i. So, it is r i by 1 plus beta r m. Okay. So, we got the equation of r i f is equal to r i by 1 plus beta r m. I hope you have understood the derivation. If you have any queries, you can post in the comment section. Thank you. Good luck students.